What's up, everybody? It's Dr. Living Good. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Excited to be with you to start another week. Let's make it a healthy one, all right? I want to make it simple as I possibly can. That's what I always try to do with health. That's what today and this show is about. We're going to break down new recent news events and some concern. I'm just listening to the community, and so I thought I would take the liberty to speak directly to how do I help you guys? What are you asking the most about? What is a buzz across TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and this topic today? Today's teaching, welcome in. No beautiful nurse living good, but my job is to deliver the content in a timely manner, make it simple for you, and address what's going on in the world. Excited to be with you. Let's go, peeps. Let's dive right in. The whiteboard all set and the markers all ready. Let me dive into a really crucial topic. So hot topic out of the gates today, breaking on the news, depending on when you are watching this, but huge chemical spills pouring chloride into the environment, vinyl chloride used for plastic making. Other ones is happening in Ohio right now. This stuff happens periodically all over the world in our waters, whether it's oil, whether it's chemicals, but it just starts to make you wonder, my gosh, what does that actually do to our body? What is in this world right now? I'm looking out the window uh, of the office and there's this huge lake, right? That lake actually has a sign by it that says, do not eat the fish out of this lake. It's because of a toxic world that we live in. We cannot avoid it. So many toxins pouring into our environments. One of the main ones I want to talk about today that happens to be an electrolyte, but also can be a toxin when it's used in commercial products processing is chloride. So whether you are a swimmer, your kids are a swimmer, chlorine exposure, which is the precursor to chloride, or lots of plastics and or burning of plastics into the air. Uh, there's a lot of different forms of how chloride exposure happens in our water. So we pour it in there as a level of disinfectant and just try to sanitize the water. But that chlorine, that chloride ends up in your system in a bad way. Now you need a little bit of chloride. It is actually found in electrolytes powders and electrolytes drinks. And that's the good stuff. Okay, but that's more of the salt form of it. What I want to talk to you today about is the use of chloride in these solvents. And then especially for the people, if this is more recent, in Ohio, breathing in toxic air, black puff of smoke going up as they burned off this chemical so that it wouldn't just create an explosion because it was on fire. So they're really worried about like a bomb almost going off. This chloride gas and mixture that was happening. Now it's pouring and spewing into our environment. So I'm thinking of you and myself and my kids. Hey, I know what the people of Ohio are going through right now, but we are actually getting exposed to this thing all the time. So if you're a swimmer, if you're in a pool regularly, if you have a hot tub, if you're drinking unfiltered water, if you are you know, exposed to a lot of plastics, this chloride is coming in. So let's just cover the topic of detoxifying from chemicals. Specific focus here is chloride, but the solutions I'm gonna give you, four very simple ones, are gonna break down for you how you can begin to do this. So right out of the gates, number one way to start detoxing your body from chemicals is actually vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of the main ingredients, the ascorbic acid in uh, chloride removers. Like when they have to remove chloride or chlorine, they actually use a, a substance that is high in ascorbic acid, vitamin C. So this helps to bind unnecessary chloride in there. Now, the chloride is in the salt form. It's not what I'm referring to. That's electrolyte. That's a good one. So you don't want to eliminate all forces, forms of it. But if there's unnecessary chloride, so this is a big one for like if you're swimming or you do go to maybe an indoor pool, an outdoor pool and it's just you know chlorine you want to shower immediately afterwards but giving your children or giving yourself a dose a higher dose of vitamin c is actually an easy way to do this so i have a high dose of vitamin c powder i also have an electrolyte powder that has the salt form of chloride good form but it also has a high dose vitamin c in it so this is a good one to be putting in to detox out you can also eat it in the form of strawberries eat it in the form of oranges eat it in the form of broccoli eat it in the form of acerola cherry we oftentimes freeze those at the living goods household and we drop them into a smoothie so vitamin Vitamin C, number one out of the gates that actually helps to bind the chloride specifically in there. Now there's a couple other things that do this as well. My second, number three on the list, second favorite, fluorine. Taurine, derivative of an amino acid, taurine in the body has actually been shown to absorb and bind excess chlorine, excess chloride. Also another very popular one after swimming or if you're thinking about like, you know, unfiltered water or maybe you've had a chemical exposure of a chlorine chloride type exposure, lots of plastics, burnings of plastics, those fumes in the air that can create a ra rash. Like if you got overexposed to chlorine, it'd be the same thing. If you're burning lots of plastics or that type of material, that's what creates it. Taurine actually helps bind it. Now this is a great heart supporter. If you have electrical heart problems, I love taurine for that reason. And taurine helps to energize the cells. It also helps lower the blood pressure, but it is a chloride binder. Interesting enough, in my blood pressure support supplement, we have this for its blood pressure support, but it is also in that electrolyte powder. So in that one, 
one electrolyte powder plus energize it actually contains the high dose vitamin c and the taurine so if i was exposed that would be one of the main ones i'd be putting in my kids love it i would be drinking it it would be rehydrating the electrolytes but it'd also be supporting the removal and the balance of excess chloride in the system okay so these are kind of some maintenance things smaller exposures but if you really want to start digging deeper into how do we remove chemicals in the system next up we're going to go to the big dog glutathione this is the mother of all antioxidants inside of the system and this is built by the body interesting enough so the way that you get more glutathione inside the system is to give it the components to build it now why that's beneficial is because it's like a street sweeper in your body so if you are exposed to chemicals and this is now all types this is on the prowl in your system like a street sweeper getting those free radicals chemicals and things soaked up so this is everything from those the chemical exposure chloride or you're going to be asking the questions i know this in the comment dr living good what about blah right any kind of chemical exposure this is the first one i'm turning to because it's the main mechanism by which the body uses to get it out and get it out of the filters your liver your kidney your cells and get it removed from your system so glutathione is built off of three amino acids cysteine cysteine glutamic acid and, and glutamine those three okay glycine excuse me are going to build the glutathione inside of the body so that's the ones we want to make sure we're getting in in my living good daily detox that's exactly what we do a lot of people take cysteine on a regular basis or acetyl cysteine has been real big because of its mechanisms of helping build glutathione inside of the body that's how it works but uh cysteine itself is very gl good glutamic acid obviously being a backbone of this and glycine is going to be the other one so those help to build the glutathione it's the street sweeper in the body if you have any chemical toxic exposure you can take straight up glutathione although it is better to help give your body the ability to boost it now i like to throw in broccolis and other uh, natural antioxidants with this but glutathione is a really big one to get that to living a daily detox uh actually has those components and you can eat those amino acids and then build this on your own obviously eating sources of clean meats is going to give you amino acids bean proteins pea proteins those are also going to give you these amino acids to build glutathione but high doses of that is the steps to intracellular detox it's going to pull chlorides and other chemicals out of the cells step two is making sure you get it out of your body so that's where you do some gentle colon cleansing some fibers activated charcoal uh psyllium husk those help to remove it but glutathione is the key there now the number one way to remove and clean up the body of excess chemicals and materials is going to be through autophagy and what i love about this is in our final week of each challenge i challenge everybody to put their bodies into autophagy and so ucla did a study that showed if you drink less than 150 to 200 calories of green juice per day so this is going to be very bitter green juice not like really sweet you know like not like a like a naked beverage you know made by pepsi that has 50 grams of sugar in it no that's what i'm talking about the green machine this is going to be you know like collard greens and cucumbers and broccolis and those in a juice form they showed that if you do 150 to 200 calories of just that juice and you do it for three days you kick your body into autophagy now autophagy is the cleanup mode your body is built with a recycling system and it is fascinating because this autophagy literally starts to say okay i'm not taking in food i'm taking in a low amount of calories i'm not getting raw materials delivered in to the factory so i've got to pick up all the scraps and the extra wood it's been inefficient for a while and it will go into modes where it will break down old cells viruses and start to clear out the garbage like these chemicals and so autophagy is your body's way of clearing it up ucla showed in that study that your immune system gets boosted your white blood cells get boosted when you put your body into autophagy mode you can simply do it by beginning a fast now if you've never fasted before i would ease into it okay i like rotational fasting for that fact and so i'll put a link for that below where you can learn more about a rotational fasting in our live challenges we always do this during the fourth week because it's a form of detoxing the inside of you you can do it for one two or three days at three days is where you'll max out the autophagy effect in your system of really cleaning up the body that autophagy mode is going to help with anti-aging it's going to help lengthen your life because it helps repair your dna it's going to get the chemicals out of the body it's going to get old viruses and microbes out of the body and it really just resets the metabolism and on top of it you end up losing some weight so it's a really good cleanse one to three days and then you can use that principle of rotational fasting to do this ongoing but at least once a month that's how you clear it out so if you had a chemical exposure and you were living in ohio during this chemical exposure if you have been swimming if you've had other chemicals exposures you may look at increasing your vitamin c dose supplementing with some taurine to help your heart out your muscles and the detoxification and binding especially with chloride consider doing a 30-day living a daily detox and dosing with glutathione and then put yourself into autophagy once a month as a good hygiene practice to lower the chemical exposures that you have so as this is 
a very hot topic depending on when you're watching this video. Detoxing from chemicals is something we all need to consider on a regular basis because we're living in a world where you just can't get around this exposure. It's in the bloodstreams. We got to do something about it. And so those are the steps that you could be moving that direction. Now, if you've been exposed to a high level of a radiation, CT scan, um, you've done uh, an MRI, some kind of contrast has gone into the body and that's been injected to you or you've done a barium swallow or even, you know, colonoscopy, anesthesia, and even a probiotic or an antibiotic in your system. If you've been exposed to any of those kind of chemicals, what I also did is I put together an additional training on that. And I put that video right here for you so that you can dive into that as a great next step. So then you can start to learn more how to continue to detox from chemicals that are in our world. So check that out. There it is, peeps. That link is below for you. So you can really look at that. And it, this is just a breakdown of what's going on in the world right now. I thought it fit really well from a perspective of, hey, we're talking about doing some cleansing. And hopefully this reinforces like why that would be a really good idea for you. And especially if you're in the Ohio area and maybe you're scared or you're downwind from that area. It's starting to, you know, spread and it's obviously going uh, airborne and it's infecting water. If you're in an area like that or you're concerned in an area like that, we've got to start addressing these things. Now, of course, doing some filtration, doing water filtration or air filtration are options. I do have entire trainings and videos on YouTube about water filtration specifically and what to be looking for. Uh, so you can maybe check those out as well. But I thought this was just a good reminder and I was going to hit you with more of a, hey, here's what we're doing this week. Here's what's happening in our challenge this week. And if you're not part of the challenge, I would join it because this is what's going on. This is the things that we're addressing. It's not just, not just diet. It's not just hitting the gym. We've got to look at the full picture of health because the reality is, is our world is challenging us in ways we've never been challenged before, but I'm here to help you make it simple. So some of those links are below and attached here. If you want to try out the electrolytes plus energize, it has those in it. If you want to try it out the Living Good Daily Detox, it's there. Uh, and then of course, autophagy, what we're working on during our challenge. And this week, I hope you dive in one, two, or all three days of fasting and juicing. So let's get on it this week for our health, get motivated, get focused on learning new things, continuing to build health. That's how we're going to get it. It is your number one asset. If you lose your health, you lose everything. So I wanted to reinforce that. Prayers for all of the people in Ohio, in that area, struggling with just a scary, ugly, weird situation. But it's this chemical in the logical world we live in. This stuff's going to happen. You got to know what to do and be prepared. And I think we should all be addressing it regularly. So there it is. I encourage you to go make it a great great week this week. I think you might as well because you're never going to get it back. All right, go make it a great week. See you guys.